Alright guys let's get straight into it. The manga I'm gonna put you onto today is called Dead Tube. Be warned though, it is quite a graphic one so read at your own risk. Since we got that out of the way let's, really, get into it. Now right off the bat you can just tell you're about to start reading some freaky shit when you see your average cute animated schoolgirl with blood on her person. And now you may be thinking, oh maybe it's just that time of the month and she had a little accident. Well bucko I dunno about you but that cleaver she's hiding behind her back says otherwise. Moving on we spot Satan riding a lizard, probably Bruce Lee and the Blue Man group. Plus a little fan service for the boys. Ah, finally, we meet the main character, Machia Tomohiro. You know he kinda looks like one of the main characters in a hentai except we actually see his face. Following that he has his first encounter with our bloody little schoolgirl, Mashiro Mai. She asks Machia if he could film her. Honestly I thought they were gonna make a movie. Turns out she really just wants to be filmed. Hey, Machia isn't too bad with that camera of his. Mashiro tells Machia that for the next two days he is going to continue documenting her day to day. And he just goes with it after a little schoolgirl charm persuades him. While doing what he does Machia gets harassed by her friends, fucked with, and baited. Now quite frankly these baits are approaching A tier as even us, the readers, get baited when she pulls him into the bathroom saying she can't hold it in anymore. But I'm not disappointed because this isn't that kind of adult manga. I'm not sure if I can show an animated schoolgirl peeing. So I'm just not gonna risk the FBI or Susan trying to take down my bid. You'll read it anyway so moving on. Straight up, I didn't expect. Peeing, could be made so fucking sensual. For that, Yamaguchi, you have my praises. After filming her all the way to her house Machia thought he was gonna be done for the day. But instead the bloody schoolgirl had him work overtime. And he's not even getting paid. Although he does get a little forced into it he decides to stay around and continue anyway. Honestly at this point Yamaguchi is just fucking with me. Like if this isn't a fucking porno then what am I reading? This reminds me of a POV to the start of a hentai video game or something. Yeah, definitely a hentai sim. Currently you may be thinking, manga? Yeah it's a little sensual here and there and makes little Timmy stand at attention but this ain't all that bad. So to that I say, wait. A little into day 2 of this very odd experience for Machia, he runs into an old acquaintance of his. Who just so happens to be Mashiro's current boyfriend? Whether she knows or not of their past Mashiro now wants Machia to film her while she is on a date with another dude. Surprisingly he didn't reject it, he just continued to do what he, has been for the past few days or so. Silently watching and recording. Low key, while reading this myself I was wondering what was brewing inside the head of Machia, the stalker with a permit. I was thinking for sure he was gonna go ape shit or something but no. He didn't. Not even a muscle spasm or anything on his face when he witnessed them practicing their tongue tying skills. Somehow, ending up in an abandoned warehouse Machia has to film them having, Inner body relations. Well at least Yamaguchi ain't shorting us on the porno am I right? Then out of nowhere, bloody little schoolgirl uses pipe bash on piece of shit level 3. Initially POS3 didn't realize he had increased brain damage from that strike as instead of, oh I dunno, actually doing something that won't make him a VeggieTales character. He opts to curse out Mashiro and look where that got him. When I first read this and saw that Machia not only didn't help as POS3 got his brains bashed in by Mashiro, although I don't blame him, and even got off on that, I only just realized that I was in for a doozy. See? Now aren't you glad you waited? 